I want to talk to you today about testing backups. I want to talk to you today about testing your backups. You know what? You're not testing your backups. I know you're not testing your backups. You want to know how I know? I'm on the forums. Oh, help me, help me. My backup doesn't work. Yeah, I read it. I see them every single day. You're not testing your backups. You need to test your backups. Look, backups are a fundamental part of your disaster recovery process. You need to have backups in place. It's fundamental. If you're not testing those backups, you don't know what you've got. A file is just a file. A backup is a restored database. If you're not running DBCC on a regular basis, that's Database Consistency Checker, then you have no clue what your database looks like. Therefore, when you're running your backups and you go to restore them later and it's horribly messed up, it's your fault. You've screwed up because you're not running your database consistency checks. Those must be run as part of a backup process. Now I know, there's a few of you out there that are already going, ha, cool, I'm covered. I've got consistency checks in place. Yeah, guess what? Have you checked your files? Do you know that what got written out to that, data, to that file is good? No, I'll bet you didn't. There's this little thing called checksum. If you're not using it, you don't have a clue what's going on inside of your files. There could be anything written out to them. You don't know. Checksum is a vital part of any kind of backup process because what it's going to do is create a little checksum process. Look up what that is. You can learn. And it's going to allow you to verify that as each page gets written, it's written correctly and successfully. If you're not running checksum, you don't have a clue what's getting written. So you must run that as part of your backup process. Now there's even a few more people out there. Now they're really smug. Well, I'm running DBCC, I'm running checksum, I'm covered. I don't need to do anything else, do I? Uh, wrong! Are you running verify only? You must run verify only. This allows you to take any backup that you've run and validate that it is a valid backup after the files have been written out. Just because you've got a successful checksum doesn't mean you've got a good backup header. For crying out loud, you've got to check all these things. You've got to check all these things because of your DR problem. Disaster recovery hits the issues. If you're running verify only, you're covered. Almost. Ah, got the last few people, didn't I? You think that's it. You think if you've got database consistency checks, you've got checksum, you've got verify only, you're covered. Bad news. Verify only doesn't check the entire header. There are still parts of the backup header that are not completely checked by verify only. The only way to check those? Run a restore. If you're not testing your backups through a restore process, you don't know what you've got. Therefore, you'll be back online whining at me, oh, I can't get my restores to run. That's because you're not verifying your backups. So get out there and get it done.